Tony said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. All right, Kenny, Stay pal. Here. I'm a coming. You handsome bastard, yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely and very cautiously, I am getting there. With no real rush. Uh, I wonder if he's cracked or something. He might have. He's kind of, he's headed there. Sooner or later it's going to happen. Kenny? Yeah, he's definitely had some sort of breakdown, I think. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, shit, it's the zombie child. It's all right. I'll take care of it. Yeah, well, that's actually an option. Brilliant. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it, like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well, you know, I've already murdered one child. I don't see why I can't do it again. Oh Jesus, that doesn't make me sound like a good person. All right then. That's actually quite sad. The this poor must kid. Have been where he slept. Let's take a look here. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Ah. Although, by the looks of things, he was well on his way to starvation as well. Food, like we almost did. Like we still might. Ah, be positive, what Lee. Be positive. Die. What a way to die. Nah, the poor kid. And he died alone as well. That's the upsetting thing. It's not like his parents were nearby as well. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Jesus. Alright. So I can kick him, shoot him, or hit him with the wrench. The wrench seems like the fair one to do. The gun would cause too much attention and kicking him is just brutal. So, wrench it is. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. It's gotta happen, though. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think they'd show it. One clean hit. That's all it took. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Oh yeah, we can bury him with the dog. That's, that's actually kind of sweet in a way. It's also kind of creepy, considering they're both dead and horribly did, uh, what's the word, decomposed, but it's sweet in a way too. Generally, I like to make jokes in my commentary and be lighthearted, but uh, this isn't the time or place, really. Poor kid. But it is nice how he gets buried with his dog. I mean, it's not the best circumstances, don't get me wrong, but... Oh well. Alright, let's get digging. Well, let's get burying, anyway. See, that's what I love about this game. It's what makes it buying worth buying in itself. It's that it's such... They really do put a whole amount of effort into the storyline and the presentation and the characters. They actually get really 
into the storyline, you do get really attached to the characters and everything. Um, just like the TV show, really, actually. It's just as good. If this was a TV show, this is this is actually some quality storylines that they have going on, so... You know? <laughs> her watching me with those big old bug eyes of her isn't making this task any easier. Neither is Chris's bitchy presence. Alright, we're nearly there. I'm just gonna fill this in. Oh, there's a zombie gonna appear there, I know he is. Zombie Chuck or something like that. The last thing we need right now is a homeless zombie ninja. Oh, I imagine this is gonna be the last scoop of dirt. And then that's him. That's him buried. So let's go for it. Oh! Fucking shit fox. Is he a walk? Oh, hey! not a walker. Hey! He's a runner. Stay away from us, I'll kill you. Who are you? Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? Someone was watching us, I thought I saw something, nothing to say. <laughs> Who so yelled out at a stray dog? There by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Oh shit, he's not looking too good. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now as to find a the boat. Better. And as soon as she's ready to go, Let's look for supplies. we are moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Ah, uh, absolutely not. We can't right now. Stay here and help. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yes, exactly. That's pretty much where I'm going. I don't like you, Ben. Keep an eye on Omid, no offense, Ben, but stay and protect Clementine. Make That's him feel important. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Also, I don't really trust Ben considering he completely froze a while ago while he had the opportunity to shoot a walker. So, I don't really, I'm not full of confidence with him right now. I'm really not. Also, I understand there's a presidential election going on in America. Good luck with that, guys. It's kind of like choosing which brand of shoe gets a kick in the balls. I'm not jealous. Infected. Who the fuck? How did they manage to get up there to pin that up? 
That's what I'm wondering. Whatever about the warning they're trying to give me. Lincoln Street, East Bay Street. Jesus, I read that from bottom to top. And from right to left. I just completely forgot how to read there. I did it all in reverse. I'm a bit worried Kenny may have been bitten or scratched or something during the uh, the attack a while ago at the start of this episode. And look at those dead eyes. They're not even determined. It's not even grim determination. It's just dead eyes. It's a man who doesn't really care. I wonder how the tires came off that car, actually. <laughs> look at that. Someone did a last mathematical equation in their blood. <laughs> Nerd life till the very end. Ah, uh, you want to talk? Yeah. So, you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's we... right up ahead. Alright, I tried. I'm gonna keep trying, because I really do want to... Oh, shit, more bells. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Oh shit. It's a horde. I don't like it. I like how one of them is crawling, but she's going what just as fast the as the one's walking. On? Jesus. Oh, they'll take us for one took there. Maybe they're trying to distract us. I have no idea. Maybe they're doing us a fa maybe. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hey, I can appreciate quick wit, especially in such a stressful circumstance. I really do appreciate that. That was a good one, Kenny. Let's keep moving. She's gonna. Oh, I thought she was gonna peek and see us. That would have been an unwelcome surprise. Three's company. Actually, no, three's a I crowd. Oh my god. Ah, fuck it, our only boat. It's half submerged. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Time for plan B, I don't think so. Kenny man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. I'm with you, brother. I really am. But, uh, you're kind of trying my patience a little bit. I'm going to need you to be a bit more cooperative. <laughs> That's not a good prospect. Might still be salvageable. What? Seriously? This boat is fucked. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Look, Kenny. I really do want to be BFFs with you uh, again. Actually, no. I want to be BFFFFs with you. I'm not sure if I added in an extra F. I meant to say I'll best fucking friends around, forever. Okay. Ooh, dismissed. Burn. Um, what was that thing that I could have checked? Chuck checked. Oh, Chuck! Jesus, where's Chuck? <laughs> I forgot about that. Not exactly a welcome banner. Yeah, keep out of the city or keep out of the waterfront. They need to specify these things with me. Because uh, I don't follow instructions well. Stay oot. Why would they say stay oot? Oh, oh, sorry. It's a, it's a U. Jesus, I thought it said stay out or stay oot. Must have been Canadian or something. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Well, there was a shop just back here, wasn't there? Oh, oh, oh shit. They're still alive. Well, not alive, but you know what I mean. Undead. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Ah, oh, he had his eyes gouged out, did he? Jesus. What in the hell? Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? That actually is really twisted. I'm not gonna shoot them though because, you know, 
It's <laughs> all I have is it's a handgun that's going to draw more attention than anything. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Now that's true, it does. Uh, I have to admit though, as creepy as the whole idea is, this is just one big smudge of of kind of poorly rendered graphics. <laughs> so we're gonna put the ugliness b uh, behind us now. And we're gonna go get ourselves a quarter. Oh, cash register, perfect. <laughs> what can I ring you up for? Beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. <laughs> of course. This game just loves giving you puzzles to solve, doesn't it? I'm not a fan of my puzzles. I'm really not. Let's see what we got going on up there. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Oh, so I did another job interview in work. And, um. Someone already looted the place. Yeah. And, uh, this time I've actually gotten through to the interviews. I mean, I did an assessment center and no one threw to the interviews. But, um. But yeah. I kind of just went in there and backhanded the person and was like, yeah, you want to hire me. Markings. They're all over the place. It looks like some sort of code. Well, I didn't backhand them necessarily so much as sat down and gave a very nice impression of myself, but <laughs> in my mind, I backhanded them. I hear walkers. Oh, it could be the guys who were back there impaled, though. Alright, nothing of interest down here. So I need to get a quarter. And I imagine it might be in the pockets of some of these zombies. I get the feeling that's the way the game wants to go. Could be military tech. But what do they mean? Uh, to me, it looks like some sort of mathematical equation. Man plus zombie equals owie. Alright, I don't want to pull the trigger on those guys just yet. Mainly because yeah, it's going to draw a whole lot of unwanted attention. This is a city full of walkers after all, so kind of cracking off a few shots wouldn't be the best idea. I'm going to see if Kenny has some loose change first. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Why, thank you for that valuable input, Kenny. I'm glad I keep you around. Truly, I am. Ah, if I was a quarter, where the hell would I be? Um, I don't know. Um, this barricade does a good job. Yes, yes, not wanting to go in. I know, I know. Can I check their pockets or anything? If I could check his pocket, that'd be great. Maybe he's got a wallet or something. Or else Lee just checked out his ass. I don't know. Um, I want to just take one last walk along the street before I commit to shooting them. And yes, I'm doing this live. Someone left me a comment on one of my on episode one saying, "Why are you doing this blind?" It's because it's more fucking fun that way. I do live commentary, so I want to genuinely feel Locked. every jump that comes. There's a quarter in here. Yes, yeah, siphon. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Except, hopefully, of any quarters. Must have been a hell of a wreck. But wouldn't it make sense that this thing would have quarters in there? It being a little bus and everything that people would pay to get onto. Or a tram, sorry, it's a tram. If you want to get technical about it. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. No, sir, I imagine it did not. Um. Oh, yeah, I can bash it open. Jesus, <laughs> I didn't see that the last time. Hurrah! <laughs> hey, we got the quarter. And for that reason alone, I'm happy I didn't shoot the zombies. I'm sure morally it is the right thing to do, but um, <laughs> kind of shows where my moral compass points now, doesn't it? Screw them! Let the zombies be scarecrows. At least they're doing something practical for the world. All right, let's take a let's take a peek. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline. Plus, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Ah, let's take a look here. That's a nice, pretty building. Like every other place in this city. 
That actually no, a large building is never a safe place to hold up on a zombie outbreak, I'd imagine. Alright, this is looking completely abandoned to me. Hello. I can examine trees. No way that one's salvageable. Oh wait, no, it was the boat I was looking at, not the trees. Alright. <laughs> I was thinking like why what about those trees is so important? Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. And how many people ended up jumping into the river to get away from the zombies? Water, not a boat to be seen. Actually, yeah, for the people who jumped off the thing, I just want to say, suicide is never the answer. Unless the question you're being asked is, what's that thing called when you kill yourself? In which case, yes, yeah, suicide is the answer. But, uh... What the hell? What the hey! Hell? What's he doing? What's he doing? What kind of craziness is he up to? Spider-Man! Get down! Get down! Huh! <laughs> it's Zombie Outbreak Spider-Man! I like him though, the guy's clearly got some good parkour skills. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Maybe it's just a scavenger. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a woman. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. I'm kind of surprised he didn't see us, really. We weren't necessarily hiding. Alright. 